Microsoft Office 365 is the largest productivity suite in use today in the world. But did you know it could seamlessly work inside of Zoom? I'm going to show you next. I think everyone knows Microsoft Office 365. We've been using it for years between Outlook and Word and Excel and PowerPoint. Is there a bigger platform in use today? Probably not. So why is the discussion about Microsoft 365 so important to Zoom and Zoom team chat functionality? I think we can all agree we spend a lot of time in meetings and on the phone, but that's not the bulk and majority of our time spent. I think the most time we spend is actually collaborating with our colleagues, uh, sending files, receiving files, co-authoring on files, editing files, creating files. And we do that with Microsoft 365 suite of products. We could also do it with the Google suite of products. And I actually showed you a video last week. It's a right above here on how to do that. But in this demo, we're gonna show you how Microsoft 365 products like PowerPoint, Word, and Excel all work seamlessly in the Zoom client. So let's just dive right into the demo so you can see exactly what this experience looks like between Zoom Team Chat and Microsoft Microsoft Office 365 from a user's perspective. All right, let's turn on our demo here and take a look at what a user is going to see. This is a typical Zoom Team Chat user. I am looking at the, the client itself. I've actually on the left side pre-created a, a Zoom Team Chat channel called SharePoint Integration Channel. I bet you can't guess what this, uh, this channel does, right? It's exactly what it does. We've enabled the SharePoint integration on the admin side. Now, every single time a user wants to upload or create files using Microsoft 365, they can inside of that channel. Take a look at this. When we create a new file, Inside of Zoom Team Chat, we go to the Files tab. When we click on that Files tab, look what now pops up. Look what now pops up. All the Office 365 suite of products can now be utilized inside of Zoom Team Chat. I can create a new OneNote, I can create a Word document, an Excel document, even a PowerPoint document. So let's create a new document. Let's just walk through a workflow process of any normal user say, hey, I wanna create a new PowerPoint uh, slide and I wanna do it through the lens of Zoom. I'm not gonna leave Zoom to do this. I'm gonna to go to file, I'm gonna to go to PowerPoint presentation. Let's just say demo PPT file. When we hit save, look what happens. It opens up PowerPoint right from Zoom client itself. And now we create a new slide. Say we wanna create an insert, a, a new picture. We can create a new picture. We can say, hey, just for a stock image so I don't get in trouble with copyright infringement. And we're just gonna add something, I don't know, like a cow. I grew up on a farm, it seems appropriate. That cow is gonna be added. And let's just say we wanna add a design feature. Boom, we've now created a PowerPoint slide right from Zoom team chat. And look at the top left-hand corner. This demo PowerPoint slide already saved and ready to distribute to everyone in your team. So if now if I go back to my Zoom team chat, I can now see that file is right here. I can send it to everyone on my team and now they have access to this brand new PowerPoint slide that I created right from Zoom team chat. I didn't have to leave the client to do any of that. Let's talk about efficiency and productivity. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So now everyone in the channel now has access to this new PowerPoint deck that I just created right from Zoom team chat using that Microsoft 365 productivity integration. Let's bring in another client so you can see what it looks like. So now I have two clients on the screen. On the left side is my test client that I created the doc document in, on the right side is a member of the channel itself. You can see right here from the SharePoint integration channel, they are part of the same channel. I have now have an alert right here saying, hey, there's one new message in here. And guess what? It's the same demo PPT file that I created before. So let's open up the file on two separate accounts and see what happens. So I've opened up the file on the left side where we created the uh, PowerPoint slide originally. Now there's another client on the right side. Let's open up the exact same file right from another client. And you can see as it launches, the launches this file, look at that, it's the exact same file. The most intriguing part about this is it is two separate users working and co-authoring on the same file. They can simultaneously edit this exact same file. We're going to do that next. So now I have two separate clients with the exact same file opened up in two separate organizations. You can see that on the top right hand side here. I'm logged in as Patrick Kelly on the right side, logged in as MOD administrator on the left side. Recall that I launched these both of these uh, PowerPoint slide decks right from the Zoom client themselves. The great thing is about you can now co-author on this exact same file. As we have two users opening at the exact same time, I can see what users actually 
they open to the same thing. Now that we have two users opening the exact same file at the exact same time, co-authoring across organizations, we can actually see what users are inside of our app. You can see from an administrator's perspective, I can see Patrick Kelly is right here in my file. And then as Patrick Kelly, I can see that MOD admin is in my file. Now we can co-author real time on this file and the other user is going to see those changes. I'm gonna move the uh, cow picture to the left and then watch what happens um, from a MOD administrator perspective. I can go right here and the cow moves to the left real time. The great thing about Zoom Team Chat is you can share the channel across individual organizational users inside of your company. You could also share that channel outside of your company with external users. I've actually shared this SharePoint integration channel and I have external members as part of the membership of this channel. You can see that here. If I go up to the right side, you can see Patrick Kelly is the owner of this channel. He's an internal user, but I also have external users as part of this channel. They have the exact same rights to all chats and documents inside of the SharePoint channel. And we do that with the Microsoft purview and we apply Microsoft Office 365 permissions in SharePoint, which adheres to all members of this channel. To carry Zoom Team Chat integration even further in the productivity world, remember there's probably two big giants here in this space, Microsoft as well as Google. What if I could show you real quick how a Zoom Team Chat user can use both at the exact same time? You're already familiar with the Microsoft one because we've been doing this entire demo. We can create all these Microsoft Office 365 documents right inside of Zoom Team Chat. But what if you received a document from Google or you want to create a document from Google? Maybe you're working with other partners and vendors and customers that are using a blend of, of Microsoft Productivity Suite as well as Google Productivity Suite. You can do the exact same thing inside of Google. If you look on the right side, you can see I have a Google Drive integration as well, allowing me as a user to create all these new documents inside of the Google Lens, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. Basically what Zoom Team Chat is allowing is users to have choice of whatever platform they want to use. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, are you still with me? We've gone through a lot of different things demoing today. We've gone through how to set up SharePoint integration with Zoom Team Chat. We've demoed how to create Microsoft documents literally within the side, the lens of Zoom Team Chat. We've also demoed how to co-author on documents inside of Zoom Team Chat inside a company as well as outside with external users. We've also demoed how to do this inside of Google. I hope you're just as impressed with Zoom Team Chat as I am. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if you'd like this video, hit follow. If you really like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I really go in depth on a lot of stuff Zoom and UCAS specific. I'm a distinguished architect for Zoom. I'm not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology and a lot of times that has to do with Zoom. Thanks. Thanks.